Let's detect a motion with computer vision. It's not hard at all, actually. We're gonna see how to use a library to do this, and the link to my notebook is there in the, in the video description. So here we have where I'm downloading an image of myself. I basically pull this image across from, from here, get it in the right format because we're gonna make use of it, and hey, there I am. What is my, what emotion is going on in Jeff's mind right there? Well, that's, that's what we're going to try to figure out. So here we basically use, this is how easy this, this package is. You just import from FER, FER. This is the facial expression recognizer, I believe. And it will give you the box of the person that you found. Or if there's multiple, it gives, it does give you multiple. And you can see the emotions. 32, anger. I'm not angry. I'm going to be angry if you don't click the like button or at least subscribe, but I'm not angry there. And then um, discuss, no, none at all. So somewhere between, uh, I think I'm angry. Now I am angry. But anyway, that, that, is, that is that one. So I thought, let's, let's try another one. So this is me attempting to show emotion. Uh, so yeah, <laughs> that's hideous. But that's, that's it. The things I put onto the internet. So anyway, there it is importing me and you can see it is trying to pull in this, this emotion detection for you. And it gives you the usual array. Angry, okay, good. I mean, I don't know. That's a mysterious look for me, really. Fear, yeah, I can get it. I was kind of going for like fear, really. Like, oh my, what the? Yeah, but anyway. So, uh, sad, uh, surprise. Yes, I definitely was going for a bit of surprised. I don't think emotion ever really happens in isolation without some of the other ones. But anyway, this is a pretty, uh, this is a pretty basic one. But this can be useful for certain, for many, many different things. I know they, I've seen some applications of this used in like medical pain monitoring as they're, they're watching somebody who's on a specific machine, seeing, seeing really what's, what's going on there. Uh, certainly can be, can be useful in interactions as, I don't know, when ChatGPT can one day actually see your face as it's talking to it, it needs to be able to read emotion because I often find, I find even in Zooms when you don't turn on the camera, which is me a lot of times, that you can't really necessarily gauge the emotion of is the person face palming to what I just told them. So anyway, this video was useful. Definitely click the like button uh, and subscribe so that you don't miss any of the other uh, machine learning topics that I cover on this channel.